Welcome to HodgePodge Australia. As a last minute Mother's Day treat, we're showing you how to make these super simple tea bag cookies and they are fantastic. So to make these tea bag cookies, you will simply need some cookie dough. You will want some string if you want to put at the top, otherwise they kind of look like gift tags. And you need some chocolate to dip them in. You can use any chocolate you want. I'm using milk chocolate and that's all you need. They're so simple. If you want the recipe for my cookie dough, there is a link in the description box below and there's one popping up now showing you to our video of how we make our sugar cookies. But once you have followed the basic ingredients of putting it all together and you've had it in the fridge in its disc for a while it's time to bring it out of the fridge and to roll it out now if you can roll it out into a rectangle as much as possible that would be great it certainly is a time saver but for me this is about as rectangulish is rectangulish a word i don't think it is but i'm going to use it rectangulish as i can get it once you have that rolled out to about three millimeters thick, you do want them thick because you are dipping them in chocolate and if they're thin, then they are going to break when you try to dip them. So make sure that they're at least three millimeters thick and then you're going to put them onto a baking tray and you can put that in the freezer for either 10 to 15 minutes or if you're going out, then pop it in the fridge just for half an hour to an hour because I find for some reason when I'm making cookies, my time just seems to not work out properly and I start to make them and need to refrigerate them just as I need to go out. So I don't want to leave them in the freezer for hours and hours at a time. So I like to put it in the fridge. It makes them nice and stiff for the cutting. Anyway, enough of my ramblings. Next thing you want to do once that cookie dough is nice and hard is take that out and you're going to, because they're just rectangles, you can get a rectangular cookie cutter if you would like. I find rectangles are pretty easy to cut. Um, freehand, they're going to be a little bit uneven unless you take the time to sit out and measure them. And Oh man, I'm a freehander, I don't measure. But if you guys want to measure, go for it. Once you have your rectangles cut out, then you're going to use your pizza cutter to cut just some little sections off the side. So just taking your pizza cutter and again, freehanding it. If you want to get a template so that they're all exact, please do so. Mine... I just freehand and if it's a little bit off then I trim it and tidy it up and all those sorts of things. But this is what our tea bag shape looks like. So it's very basic. It's a very basic shape and it's nice and easy. You can get you could even make these with your kids for Mother's Day, which would be lovely because they would love it. It's a nice basic shape for them to do. Then getting a skewer or a toothpick or something nice and fine, I'm using a skewer, you just want to make a hole into your cookie. So just place the skewer in and as you can see there, I am simply swirling the skewer around to make that hole a little bit bigger so we can put the string through later on. You are going to do this for as many cookies as you want and then putting them on a baking tray, you are going to bake them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 160 degrees. You will want to take them out of the oven once they're just starting to reach that golden brown stage. Don't let them go over that. Then pull them out and let them cool completely. In that time, you can melt some chocolate. I have melted some milk chocolate in a nice dipping jar. You want it to be able to fit your cookies. Also put some baking paper under your tray. That is what we're going to put the cookies on. But I have used some oil, just to get sidetracked for a second, a little bit of oil in with my chocolate just to thin it out a bit so it's easier for dipping. As I was mentioning before, you do want a glass container or, well, plastic, it can be whatever, but any container that you melt your chocolate in, it needs to be deep enough that the chocolate is coming up the sides, but you also need it to be wide enough to fit your cookies in. So make sure you test that out first so you don't end up with chocolate in a glass that's not wide enough for your cookies. Then it's simply a matter of dipping your cookies into the chocolate, making sure they're nicely coated and have a nice as flat of a surface as you can get so it all looks nice and seamless pop that down on your baking paper and do that again for all of your cookies so just dipping it into the chocolate give it a little bit of a shake and a little bit of a tap i started out with eight cookies i ended up with seven one of them broke so what did i do i ate it what else are you gonna do so don't worry just make sure you make extras in case you do have some breakages when you're dipping it but that is our cookies and to finish it off i've simply tied some pink raffia through the top hole that we made earlier and that is how simple it is to make tea bag cookies which would be just delightful to tip into a cup of coffee or a cup of tea make them for your mum this mother's day and we'll see you again real soon